The Indian Air Force had ordered the hammer air to ground munition from the French company Safran Electronics and Defence for its Tejas aircraft in 2021, and as per media reports, after integration by Hindustan Aeronautics, the Tejas aircraft has successfully tested the hammer, that will enable it to strike hardened targets at distances of over 70 km, and a Tejas aircraft will be capable of carrying up to five hammers. Hindustan Aeronautics has also informed all potential customers such as Malaysia, Philippines and Argentina, that it is open to integrate any weapon specified by them. After the closure of the Su-30 plant, Hindustan Aeronautics Aircraft Division at Nashik, is now shifting its focus to manufacture parts and assembling structures for the Tejas Mark 1A and AMCA program. HAL is creating the necessary infrastructure at the NASIC factory, so that it can be used to manufacture five additional Tejas Mark 1A per year for domestic as well as export markets. HAL NASIC also has been selected for the AMCA program, and a few structures and other components for the first five prototypes and pre-production AMCA fighter jets will be manufactured at this facility. Just ahead of Prime Minister Modi's visit to France, French firm Naval Group has confirmed that it is no longer in the race to provide six next-generation conventional diesel attack submarines to the Indian Navy under Project 75I, after it was not able to meet certain conditions of the Indian Navy. The Naval Group has said that it will continue to collaborate with India on the refit of the six Calvary-class submarines with the DRDO-developed Air Independent Propulsion System from 2023 onwards. South Korea's Duwu shipbuilding is now the sole contender in the program, which has offered the KSS-3 submarine that has a proven lithium-ion battery technology and AIP system. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has started work to develop a 600-horsepower automatic transmission for military tracked vehicle, which is being developed for the future infantry combat vehicle program, under which the Army aims to procure 1,750 tracked futuristic infantry combat vehicles. The DRDO is now engaging vendors to acquire compact hydraulic gearbox for this 600-horsepower automatic transmission. The RDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment has issued a request for information for the Active Protection Radar, that will weigh less than 25 kg, and is designed to detect and automatically track rockets anti-tank guided missiles and tank rounds, and will be part of the active protection systems of future main battle tanks and armored personnel carriers, that will deliver an early warning to the crew of a potential threat. The active protection radar will have 360 degrees upper hemisphere coverage, that will also detect top attack ATGM. Private sector firm SSS Defense has released its first corporate video yesterday, that showed the Sabre Sniper Rifle, Viper Sniper Rifle, P-72 DMR, P-72 Rapid Engagement Combat Rifle, and P-72 Recon Carbine, and all these rifles have been offered to the Indian Army. Interestingly, the video also shows a light machine gun, on which development work is underway by SSS Defense. The Indian Army has released a request for information to procure 105mm 37 caliber mounted gun system from Indian companies, for deployment in the mountains and high-altitude areas along India's northern borders. The RFI has stated that the system should be able to fire all in-service ammunition during trials, must have inertial navigation system-based sight system, and the capability to engage targets during both day and night. The Garuda 105mm 37 caliber ultralight lightweight mobile gun system developed by Bharat Forge is seen as the top contender, which features hybrid recoil technology. Cochin Shipyard Limited has said that the shipyard has gained a lot of experience from building the INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, and if the Indian Navy orders to build another aircraft carrier of 45,000 ton class, 
Cochin Shipyard is confident to complete its construction in five years period. Cochin Shipyard has said that it can also make aircraft carriers that use the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and is expanding the capacity of its dry dock so that construction of aircraft carrier of 70,000 tons can be undertaken in the future. Oh, Mark,